Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an N-Scale Union Pacific CA3 class caboose from Centralia Car Shops. The real UP25026 was built in May 1942 as 3726, renumbered to 25026 in February 1959, and retired on October 9, 1986. The model has an MSRP of $29.95. The paint on this caboose is crisp and opaque, and looks to be very close to the correct shade of yellow for UP. I can't see any voids in the markings, and all but the tiniest writing is legible with magnification. The curved grab irons at the corners are molded on, but the way that they're painted makes them look almost like separate pieces. I found a photo of the real UP25026, and some of the markings, like the wheel inspection dots, are in the wrong place. Still, the overall effect is good. The ends of the car feature very fine railing and ladder detail. The steps are nicely done, though on my car the steps and roof on one end are tilted slightly down, making it look like the caboose was shoved too hard while coupling. The model is equipped with microtrains or similar body-mounted couplers. The couplers on both ends are low according to the microtrain's height gauge. The top of the model has a plastic roof walk that looks a bit chunky to my eye. It would be better as a photo-etched part. The real UP25026 lost its roof walk sometime before 1984. Be careful with the smokestack on the car. It is not glued on my example and can fall out if the car is turned upside down. The cupola lacks the red and green lights common on UP cabooses. Advanced modelers might want to add those. The caboose does not have any lighting of any kind installed. The roof of the cupola is not seated all the way down on my model. Fixing it would probably require removing it and regluing it in place. The underside of the caboose features freestanding brake components. There are no brake rods or plumbing. The model is equipped with metal wheels. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. While they roll well, the trucks in this model are not the correct style for this type of UP caboose. The car weighs one ounce. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is approximately 0.9 ounces. I actually like to add even more weight to my cabooses, as it helps prevent them from bouncing back and forth due to tension in the coupler springs. Overall, I think this is a really nice model. It's a good rendition of a prototypical UP caboose. I am going to take off one spike for the tilted steps and roof on one end. I'm also going to take off a spike for the coupler height. My final verdict is 8 out of 10 spikes. 